Hi everybody, in this video I want to show you the best universal USB battery charger on the market. This is Nightcore UM2 dual slot USB charger. Just look at the list of compatible batteries that you can charge. And this particular model without AC adapter costs only 14 bucks, the link in the description. There's also 4 slot charger and these models are available with different AC adapters. It's not a sponsored video, I bought this myself, so no silly business here. Inside the box we have the user manual, micro USB cable and the charger itself. You know, this device looks and feels like a really high quality product. It even smells not like most Chinese products. Nightcore is actually an international brand well known for its flashlights, batteries and chargers. The coolest thing about this charger is micro USB input, so it doesn't require any specific AC adapter and you can charge your batteries from basically any USB port. You can plug this into your laptop, solar charger, power bank or your phone's adapter, especially if it's fast charging adapter, because this charger supports quick charge and 9 volts input. Here you have two independently controlled and adjustable slots, so you can charge simultaneously two absolutely different batteries. Very nice and informative LCD screen and two multifunctional buttons. Short press the C button to see the charging status of different slots and short press the V button to cycle through the charging current, battery voltage, charged volume and charging time. So now let's try to change the charging current and voltage. First press the C button to select the slot you want to adjust. Next press and hold the C button to enter the charging settings mode. Now a short press on the C button will cycle between the current and voltage settings and the V button allows you to change the values. Finally press and hold the C button to save the settings. Let's talk about the charging voltage and current. This charger can automatically detect the type of batteries and set appropriate charging voltage and current. The only exception is 3.8 volts lithium cells, which require cutoff voltage at 4.3 volts, and you have to set that voltage manual. A regular 3.7 volts lithium cells requires 4.2 volts. Ok, so now let's set a proper charging current. The charging current is the main factor that affects charging speed and battery's lifespan. The safest rule of thumb is to never charge your lithium cells at higher current rates than 50% of their rated capacity. For example, if it's 2000 mAh cell, then 1 amp of charging current will be just fine. For nickel metal hydride and nickel cadmium batteries, the charging current can be adjusted at 20-40% of the battery capacity. If the battery is getting hot, reduce the charge rate. This device has overtime charging protection, reverse polarity and short circuit protection. So as you can see, it immediately goes into protection mode. This charger also has lithium battery restoration feature, which works surprisingly well, and it was able to partially restore some old cells from laptop battery pack. I have a video how to disassemble laptop battery pack without damaging the cells, so you can go and check it out. By the way, I recommend this CMP brand as a worthy alternative to the original batteries. They use the same high quality cells, Samsung or LG, so we can get the same quality for less money, the link down below. Let's finally take a look inside the charger. Nicely made dual spring loaded movable contacts. Small PCB with bunch of teeny tiny components and the whole thing is based on this Novaton microcontroller. I really can't express how good it feels. Before purchasing I made a big research and I didn't find any good alternatives to this product, so I do recommend this charger.